All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We are sitting over here on the Freedom Review table. I know it sounds corny, but that's what we call it because, well, this is the last bit of freedom we'll ever probably have in the world because there's individuals out there that think they are above our Constitution and take great pride and privilege in banning our ability to uh, <laughs> exercise our Second Amendment rights. It's amazing to me that they think that banning law-abiding citizens is going to help with whatever their fight is. And without going after the people who are causing the issues, well, guess what? You're always going to have it. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, we are on this review table. We're going to be talking about the company called Armory Craft. They're based out of Florida. Awesome folks. Uh, I have worked with them in the past. And if you shoot a CZ, you'll probably know that they're very big in the CZ market. They're also real big into the SIG market. They actually are doing a lot with the piece 365 uh, and uh, we're working together to develop and revamp or make this guy, this is the Legion X5, a really better competition pistol. Now, along with what we have, uh, this series, like I said, on, on part one is we're going to cover a lot of different things that we're going to be putting on this guy. But what we are going to do today is I want to talk about this right here. This is their pistol barrel with the threaded end, and it is specific for the legion x5 which has a thicker barrel than a regular old uh p320 okay so as it says right here p320 x5 okay so with this barrel you've got a uh, nice free ramp locking lugs threaded barrel thread protector but we are going to talk about a couple of different things that are going to go along with this okay is this right here this is their muzzle brake which basically turns this thing into a really good open gun now Take into consideration that with an open gun, uh, you're gonna usually shooting hot loads, like uh, plus P uh, or some heavies. But this guy right here, what it does is it encapsulates the gases, and I don't know if you can see it. I will talk about it here. I'll zoom in if I can. You can see in that chamber right there, it's, it's beveled out. Okay, so what happens is the round comes out, the gases are caught into that big opening, Let's see. Well, hell, you know what? No, we're not going to do that. Anyway, there's a big opening right in here, okay? And those gases get caught in it, and they go out the top. Now, what happens there is we're trying to mitigate our recoil and muzzle rise, right? So when you hammer, you hit it, it goes back, and you're going to come up like this. Well, this guy on the end of there is going to help mitigate some of it. So we'll see at the end of the day, but what we're gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna put this on this uh, pistol here. We're gonna scope out the barrel real quick because I want you to see what the inside of that looks like. And uh, we'll have some fun. So with that, let's go ahead and zoom on in here and I'm gonna show you the barrel and we'll go ahead and show you this guy real quickly. And then uh, we'll put it all on the pistol, which I can't actually show the installation of that because YouTube, you know what they're doing. You know, anything you get a company run by a bunch of liberals, you're gonna take the fun away from you if you possibly can. So let's go ahead and talk about the barrel itself guys so here we are this is their barrel armory craft this is the bull barrel this is not meant for a regular p320 so if you go to the website they'll tell you that right off the bat uh this particular one this is a 416 r stainless steel and it is coated with a nitride finish they do have a titanium nitride finish as well as just a bare stainless steel uh unfortunately the coupon code of kb32 tech will not work on this thing uh <laughs> Yeah, this is a drop-in barrel. They have the uh, threads are a 28 per inch, and it does come with the thread protector. What we're going to do is go ahead and um, scope this thing out. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here, but I'm more interested in talking about this boy right here. This is what's going to make it the deal, and this is threaded on. Okay, there's threads that are all the way up here, so it actually will look like that when you're all finished and done. All right, guys, so here we are. <laughs> the reason you're watching this video is because my mirror on the Tesla on Borescope broke. And I didn't feel like the image that I was presenting to you was worth a hoot. So I decided to go ahead and put this guy on here. We actually ran it in a competition. 
I've, I've actually augmented and fixed uh, my holster, which is really nice. It does a great fit. And I'm going to tell you something. This thing really does a great job. Now, does a muzzle brake really help you with factory ammo? Um, some say yes, some say no. I will tell you this. With the tuning kit that was sent out from the guys over there at Army Craft, uh, this is an 11-pound spring, and it runs factory ammo without a problem. Now, here's the cool thing, and we'll talk about this guy later on. Uh, running the competition, you run into the spinners, and I use heavy ammo, 147 grain, loaded a little pretty hot. And what you're wanting to do is go pop, 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 to make that spinner go around and around. A heavy rounds hit it is pretty good. Stand by, going to watch a video right now. Here we go. Still on the right to kill you. All right, couple of quick double taps. All right, top. One more heart. Ow! Oh, oh. There you All right, so the idea is, and you're going to see the uh, somewhat of an install here in the next couple minutes, but uh, what we have to do is with the new Teslon mirrors right here, they have a mirror specifically set up for the diameter of a nine millimeter barrel. So I'm going to show you, this is the OEM barrel. I'm going to go ahead and take it from the, the same uh, point of view, but we're going to go ahead and bring it in. And one of the things you'll notice is that this is a drilled out barrel. Okay. And it's button pulled, which means they pull a, a, a piece of steel through it that forms the grooves and it gets very hot. I've actually seen the process. It's pretty cool. Um, but you can see, and one of the points I'm making is how much copper is built up inside this barrel. It's pretty damn neat. Uh, not a lot of carbon, actually, which is cool. As you can see, there's the chamber. And there's my fingerprints. But the lands in the grooves, that's what we're looking at. And as you get out further, you can see where this thing is cut. This barrel probably has more than, God knows, I've lost count of how many rounds this thing's gone through. Several two or three years of competition, uh, Mr. Quest had this pistol before me, so only God knows how many rounds he put through it. Now, this guy right here, I probably have maybe 200, 300 rounds through it. You're going to see the copper buildup on the grooves by the, the drill that were made by the drill, closer to the, uh, the chamber, all right, but the landings and the grooves look good. Now, it, right there, look at that, you can see where we got some copper buildup. 416 stainless steel, right? And I would expect that here in the near future, this thing is going to look a lot like the OEM barrel. But I'll tell you what, man, I am really impressed with this mirror and the way it looks. Man, oh man, oh man. But that's one of the things, the barrel plus this muzzle brake make a really good combination. 147 grain, had no problem with it. All right, so that's the uh, picture of the inside of the barrel. 11 ounce, 11 pound spring works great. Uh, you can tune this to your re your reloads, or if you're running plus P ammo, plus plus P ammo. But boy, oh boy, soft shooter with the muzzle brake. Let's get on back, and I'll show you the rest of the video. And here we go. Stand by. Then I do use is this Super Tech. You can go to any auto store. Uh, it's an all-purpose. This is a parts cleaner, and it'll get any solvents or anything lubricants off of there because that's what I want to do. I'm going to make sure that we are awesomely clean before we uh, attach this guy because I want to clean out all these little nooks and crannies. Another thing people want to see is the difference in the weight because weight is everything when you're talking about competition stuff. And let's do this. The OEM barrel is 5.6 ounces, and this guy right here is 5.9 ounces. Uh, don't have to worry about the thread protector. But you know what? Let's weigh the gun before and after. That's, that's actually a pretty uh, good idea. Here, let's go ahead and put this guy back together and we'll do this. All right, so to put the firearm back together again, let's go ahead and put it on our scales. And remember this, two pounds, nine 
9.7 ounces, two pounds, 9.7 ounces. And that's the tungsten field frame. I do, I am running a heavy duty tungsten uh, guide rod in here. So the guide rod that comes with their tuning kit, uh, I will do a comparison with that. And I can't remember, I can't remember if I bought that or not. It may have come with a firearm. Okay, so now let's go ahead and clean this thing. Threads are... I don't like the way this is. I'm going to spray those down again. Okay, so this is supposed to be a drop-in. We're going to clean this booger. Let's go ahead and drop it in. That's nice. Okay. She is now clean. And if you wanted to, you could just run the protector. Now, I think my good friend Rob, he shoots his with the extra long barrel. Does it make a difference? According to him, yes, it does. All right, so here we are. We've got the firearm set up right here. This is the muzzle brake attachment. And what happens is, is this is just attached by screwing it on to the threaded end of the barrel. Uh, as long as the thread pattern is the same as this guy right here, uh, 1 28 and 1 half by 28 revolutions, uh, you can pretty much use it on anything. But this particular guy right here, the milling matches up with the milling on the slide of the Legion X5, which is really, really cool. Now, before you do anything, and this is right, let's start off by saying this is really time sensitive, okay, in that uh, when you put together a program, we're doing a whole video series on this stuff, okay, so what happens is you have to do this step, all right, then you're reliant upon certain folks making sure that they get stuff to you on time, okay. And then uh, you go out and shoot. Range time is limited. Uh, my time is limited. <laughs> We're very busy. But what we have to do is I want this thing to set up. There's two set screws, one here and one here. And that's why we clean this guy out really, really well. Uh, there is a pocket right here for the guide rod to go into. All right, okay. Uh, and that's it, pretty much in a nutshell. But we'll go ahead and we will do some blue Loctite on these screws. You want to snug them up. I have not read the instructions. <laughs> Warning, do not cover damage across thread due to installation error, including stripping or screws or thread to compensate the threads at a secure curing of the screws. After blue Loctite is applied, please do not use for 24 hours, okay? Uh, and it does tell you to degrease this thing. I like using that motor cleaner, parts cleaner, because it really does get it done. Ugh, blue Loctite, it tastes nasty. So I'm gonna to try to limit my contact with the screw over here uh, with my greasy hands, which I did pretty pretty much, I sprayed them down with the degreaser also. So we're just gonna take and put a little dab of blue Loctite on there like that. I'm going to insert that screw. We'll go ahead and pick this other one up here. And we'll dab it up there and put that in there like that. Okay, and so that we are not in violation of YouTube guidelines, I'm going to have to turn the camera off while I put this guy on here. I would love to see if they had any kind of like uh, specs on tightening. Hey, we're gonna purchase a little bit, little, 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 nope. Nothing there, nothing there. Don't strip out the screws. <laughs> Avoid stripping the threads. Yep. Warranty does not cover damage or cross threading due to installation error, including stripping of screws, threads, or the compensator threads of securing screws. All right, so we'll go ahead and shut it down and stand by. Uh, just an FYI, you want to take the slide off in order to do the installation because the drive rod will stick out just a little bit and when it keeps you from being able to twist this thing on. So there you go, and you want to align it as best as possible. All right, so the install is complete. And one of the things you want to do while you're tightening up the screws, I do it by feel, is I want to make sure that this thing is properly aligned, okay? As well as I'm, I'm actually, I close my eyes when I'm sitting here feeling the top of it so that I know it's all lined up. But that, in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, is it. And that is really cool. Now, let's do this. I'm going <laughs> to turn the camera off again, all right? to uh, show what this thing looks like after I've installed the slide. Well, there it is. Man, Lord, a good looking firearm. Look at that thing. Ladies and gentlemen, that is cool as it gets. And uh, the neat thing is, is you can see how it floats with the barrel, okay? Bam, we're done. Uh, we'll let this thing set up. We're gonna take it out probably Tuesday, 
because I won't have a whole lot of time otherwise. But we'll take it out on Tuesday and let it shoot and <laughs> see what happens. Again, like I said, I'm running hot rounds through the sky, so it should do very well. Plus, uh, you know, we were talking about the weight of this thing before and after, correct? And I, I can't, can't, I don't even remember what the weight was before. So let's see, let the thing zero out. There we go. And put this guy on here. Two pounds, 13.1 ounces. One of the things, it, it looks awkward, maybe out of balance, the pistol does with the way it looks right now. Let me back that thing off a bit. But when you have an extended mag that's out this big, that's pretty cool. Now, one of the things also we talked about <laughs> with this is modifying the holster so that it will actually uh it's going to be about right well no it'll be about right there and uh what we're going to do is i'm going to wrap this guy up in tape we're going to heat this up don't have a heat gun but i got a torch right here somewhere there it is right there and we'll hold uh, it away from the heat but i'm actually going to wrap it up in tape and then i'm just going to, as it warms up i'm just going to push it in there i just like to push it in there and uh let that set up but man boy let me tell you something i can't wait and unfortunately I did have a thumb rest right here, a uh, kickstand, and I ordered this awesome Red Hill Tactical uh, holster. I forgot to mention that it had that part on there, so I had to take it off. No big deal, honestly, uh, but this thing's bad as a bone. All right. Well, guys, that's it. This is the cleaning, accessorizing of the uh, Armacraft barrel along with the muzzle brake. That thing's bad to the bone. Y'all be good. It's KB32. If you have any questions below, please don't hesitate in asking. Uh, KB32 tag is the discount code. Uh, take a look at their website. It's pretty damn badass. And they have so many cool parts, American made, uh, which is very, you know, unusual these days, to be honest with you. But that's it. Wow, man. Look at that guy. That's a bad mamma jamma right there. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe <laughs> Subscribe. you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men. Women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom comes with some hot rounds in 9mm with a big-ass muzzle brake on the front. Help you with that uh, muzzle rise. A recoil. There you go. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.